Hey family, welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna talk about our bodies. Let me know if you recognize this feeling. It's almost summer and we have a few weeks before it's officially beach time. So usually around this time, I'm filled with regret because I didn't work out during the summer so I don't feel like a shredded goddess to put it like that. But I'm also filled with hope because I have like four weeks to get my act together. So every year when I have this feeling, I go on a binge diet or I start to work out like full force. I do insanity, I have to do anything or everything to make sure that I have that beach body. Do you recognize that feeling? Well, this year, um, I actually posted a picture on Instagram in a bikini. I actually wore said bikini when I was in Suriname and I walked around, I was in a bikini, people. I didn't lose like an insane amount of weight just to feel good in a bikini. I felt good anyway. I even posted this picture on Instagram with my entire belly out. My entire belly, rolls and all and I posted it on Instagram. And I felt beautiful. I felt beautiful walking around in my bikini with my belly, and I felt beautiful posting that picture on Instagram. That's the place where I am right now, and I would love it if we can discuss how did I come to that place, and how can you com come to that place of self-acceptance and acceptance of your body the way it is right now. So. That's a very long intro, but if you want to, you know, if you want to know how I came to this place, if you want to know my tips for accepting your body, even when it is in all its full size glory, keep watching. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe with one click of a button. You become part of the family, which is Surinamese for family. Yes, and you can subscribe for awesome natural hair videos, but also for lifestyle and beauty tips. So let's just get into this video. <laughs> so um, I've actually kind of grown in the confidence that I have in my body and where it's at right now. Um, I did start working out, let's say, <laughs> this week. I started working out last week. I haven't been doing it for a long time. I did start working out last week and for the first time in a very long time actually, I'm not working out so that I can lose 20 pounds in two months. I'm not obsessed with losing the weight so that I can love myself. No, I'm teaching myself that, yes, I can improve my body, yes, I can be healthy, but it's not a prerequisite for me to lose weight so that I can love myself. So, we're gonna share some tips today. How can we get to that place? By making this video, I am by no means saying that I am confident all the time. I think confidence is something that you build up slowly and even the most confident person in the world has some moments where they don't feel very confident. So, let's just remember that. Okay, so my first tip is fake it till you make it. So, everybody has this fantasy, right? When I lose X amount of pounds, I'm gonna do this and this and this. I want you to think for a second, what would you do? What would you wear? What would you do if you had your dream body or if you lost a lot of weight? And then go and do that thing. For me, it was if I lost weight, I would be confident um, while I was going swimming. If I was wearing a bikini, I would be confident. Sometimes I would wear crop tops. That's actually what I started doing. I didn't really realize it at the moment, but I started wearing more crop tops. Um, I started wearing bikinis last vacation. And of course, that's why I say fake it till you make it because of course, you're gonna feel self-conscious at first. After I realized that the world didn't end when I wore that bikini or that crop top, and after my husband told me like a million times that he thinks I look really good, I look sexy, I look amazing, 
it was like a gap opened in my head to be like, hmm, let me look in the mirror real quick. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I do look good. Maybe I can wear a crop top and, you know, style it this way and like it. You know what I mean? So fake it till you make it. Um, just go out and do the thing that you've been longing to do when you lost X amount of weight. And then, even if people say crap things, look at the people who do tell you that you look amazing. And then look in the mirror and tell yourself. Fake it until you make it. So this brings me to my second tip. Surround yourself with positive people and images. We don't realize it, but we've been brainwashed. The way we look at our bodies and what we think is beautiful has been heavily influenced for years and years by images that we see, by things that people around us have said. We have locked this up in our head and we've said, okay, so if you're fat, what is fat even? If you're fat, you're not beautiful. So if your beauty image is controlled by the images that you see and the people that are around you, Take control of those images and the people you surround yourself with. So for instance, like I said in my first tip, my husband kept telling me that I look amazing, I look beautiful. He thought, genuinely thought, that I look beautiful. That really helped me. You can choose to go on Instagram and only see like Instagram baddies with a size two and like a big badonkadonk that is probably not very realistic for everybody. You can choose to go online and look at that image all day, or you can choose to follow plus size women. You can choose to follow regular women with normal bodies that are absolutely beautiful. You cannot deny that they are gorgeous. If they are beautiful, when they have a larger size, so are you, so am I. Having people around me that actually compliment me even when I haven't lost weight, even when I'm in a bikini and you can see my belly and you see the rolls, they're not gonna lie to me and say that they don't see it. It's there, but guess what? It's there, but you're still beautiful. Surround yourself with people that believe that, that genuinely believe that. So my third tip is go to places that sell cute clothing in your size. The moments when I feel just crap about my body is when I go to the city to go shopping. I live in the Netherlands and European shops don't really have cute modern clothing for people my age in my size. They don't even make clothing for me. They don't even make cute clothing for me. When you go to the city in the Netherlands and you have UK stores, um, they do have my size, thank goodness. But sometimes, like Primark for instance, their jeans don't fit my hips or my butt. You can just go shopping in the Netherlands and just come back and feel like crap. You can't find clothing in the stores because somebody just decided that you weren't important enough or beautiful enough to make clothing for. And that's crap. It's not ideal to always have to buy your stuff online, but go online and find cute clothing. The stuff that is accessible for me in the Netherlands, for an affordable price in cute styles is usually Boohoo. Boohoo is really affordable, um, has a lot of styles and plus size. ASOS, like ASOS is my number one stop. I always go there first, but they're not as affordable as Boohoo but they are better with shipping and returns in the Netherlands. So if you're in the Netherlands, definitely check out ASOS. If you're in the US, you probably have more options than we do in Europe. When it comes to really nice, trendy, modern and cute clothing that's actually in your size. One thing that you'll start to notice, once you get to wear these cute styles, you won't really feel like you have to wear, you have to lose weight to wear those stuff. Because guess what? You can already wear it. You don't have to lose weight to fit in a dress because you can buy that dress to fit your body. Which brings me to my next tip. When you have that cute clothing and you're gonna wear it, please let go of your expectations. 
listen we all know the scenario you go online you see something cute you see it on this model you buy it you wear it and then your body looks nothing nothing like it looked the the, the, the item doesn't look like it looked on the model hey you're gonna have to deal with that, okay? Because your body does not look like the body of the model on the website. Heck, the body of the model on the website don't even look like it looked on the website. It's all editing. It's editing, it's lighting. Dude, you're living real life. And in real life, you have roles. In real life, you have a belly. And that's okay. You still fly, you still fine, huh? you still beautiful, and you really have to let go of the expectation that if you buy that dress, your body's gonna look like that in it. No, you're probably gonna have something extra that jiggles, but hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little jiggle. <laughs> Speaking of jiggle, I can imagine that when you're walking on the street, you don't want everything to jiggle you want some things to be kept in place so that's the reason why i say my next tip shapewear is your friend people shapewear shapewear is your friend it just keeps everything sucked into place keeps it compact and helps create a little bit more of a shape. When I say shapewear, I don't mean like a waist trainer or something like that. You can choose to do that, but I just mean control pants that just keep, you know, the the jiggle a, a bit under control. That's just what I mean. If you have a Brazilian underwear shop in your area, um, you can Google and see if there's in your area. Go try to look for shapewear there because Brazilians make amazing shapewear. I've come to that conclusion. They make really good quality shapewear and usually they're not as expensive as American brands, but they're actually low key, high key, a lot more effective. And lastly, my last tip is actually, please be kind to yourself. Be very, very mindful of the things that you say when you're speaking about yourself. Because I notice this with myself. When I'm insecure, I can be so harsh to myself. I can say the meanest things to myself that I wouldn't dare say to anybody else. Like for instance, I'll be looking in the mirror and be like, oh, I'm so fat. And then my husband will say, no, honey, you're beautiful. And I'll be like, no. Don't lie to me. Why are you lying to me? I'm fat. I'm like a double lard. I'm like, don't you see this? Don't you see this? Dude, are you so convinced that you're not beautiful that when someone tells you you're beautiful, you say that they're lying? Like, are you so convinced? I need to be nicer to myself. Like, dang. I wouldn't walk up to a person on the street and be like, listen, honey, you's fat. Mean person, mean people do that. I would not do that. So same goes with yourself. If you know that you wouldn't say a certain thing to somebody else, don't say it to yourself. Because once again, it brings me back to my first point. You have to surround yourself with positive images and positive people. If you're not a positive person to yourself, you can have like a million positive people around you, but um, you're not gonna believe them when they tell you you're beautiful because you keep crapping on yourself and telling yourself that you're ugly. So be mindful of what you say to yourself you have to remember this you've been brainwashed to tell yourself that you're not beautiful it took years and years and years of conditioning to build up a negative self-image so building up a positive self-image it's gonna take work and it's gonna take time all i want to say is it takes time and in that time and in that process of building your self-confidence please be nice to yourself so to wrap this up i hope that this video was helpful like i said in the beginning i'm most definitely not a expert when it comes to body confidence i just noticed a shift in myself and in what i was comfortable doing and telling myself that i could do that i just wanted to share that because i feel like you are good enough to live the life that you wish you were living, to do the things that you wish you could do. 
you can do them right now and i'm by no means saying that if you want to work out and be healthy that you shouldn't do it i most definitely think you should that's what i'm doing as well but losing weight should not be a prerequisite to love yourself yes if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you liked it as well you know it's kind of different from the content that i normally do but i would love to work in some more uh, self-love topics um lifestyle topics into the natural hair mix okay because the goal is that we not only love our hair but we love ourselves okay that was it for today if you're new to this channel please do subscribe and become part of the family. I'll put a video over here and then you can watch it. Yes, and then you can click that. Which one are you gonna choose? I'm gonna put two. Which one do you want? You can click it. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything important anymore. You can click one of these videos. It's okay. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram though, at Minerva Joy 13. I did say something important. Mwah. Okay, 